Welcome back to the home renovation. Today we're going to be working on insulation and hopefully insulating this entire front wall and the side wall for our living room and small bedroom. I got a mountain of spray foam insulation curing behind me. Once that's done curing, I'll cut off the excess. In the meantime, I'm just going to start stuffing the wall cavities. As usual, we're using the R23 Rockwool insulation and they know how we like to do it. Just fill it up all of this. Let's get working. All right, we're making big progress. We got it almost done. I got a couple of small pieces to patch up. And this bay, that bay, a couple over there. But we're almost done. I got plenty of insulation left. And that's the progress so far. All right, guys, we got the whole, both of the rooms done. And this is awesome progress that we're making. I've just got two bays left to do and I have them cut. I just don't have them put in because I still have to run an outdoor light circuit. And I'm gonna do that now. We finally decided where to put our light. So I'm gonna make a hole for the wire. There it is. <laughs> so now I just gotta run a wire from the switch box up, over, down, and outside. And I have an electrical box. I'm not just gonna shove the wire out the wall, but I am, but we're actually going to be using a flush mount box for the outside of the house. There will be a proper box on the wall. We're just waiting for it to come in the mail. We'll just shove that outside. We'll start stapling it. All right guys, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is that all the insulation is complete and it looks so good in here. All the way around, it's dark in here and that's the bad news because it's starting to rain. Unexpectedly, it's starting to rain. And we got our plywood out here and we don't want the plywood getting wet because we want to put it in here dry. And that was the next step of the job was actually getting the plywood on the floors. So. We'll probably still try to do that, but hopefully the rain doesn't get too heavy. Even though it's raining and we want to get working on this plywood, I got to talk about the insulation before we move forward. So today we were able to insulate the entire living room and our son's bedroom. That was huge progress. Yeah. And we happen to have a question in our comments asking how much of the house has been insulated and how much still needs to go. Uh, that was kind of hard to explain. So I'm going to show you guys a diagram of our house. So far we've insulated our daughter's bedroom, our bedroom, and today uh, our son's bedroom and the living room, which is the end of the house. So it also wraps around. So all of the red walls are insulated. That's the walls that we've built out. It's ready for winter. We have insulation and it's awesome. Perfect. 
The rest of the walls is just the kitchen and entry, laundry, bathroom, and another bathroom. It's just that little section that we have to go. So actually the majority of the house is already done. So far, none of the ceilings have been insulated, but we're gonna try to get that done very shortly here. The only ceilings we haven't touched again are the ceilings over the kitchen and the bathroom area, that whole area. And that's just lousy pink insulation. Yeah. So as far as our winter readiness, we're pretty good. I would say we're two thirds of the way done with the house and it yeah. should be a big improvement over last year. Yeah. So even though it looks ridiculously dark in here and we're losing light because of this rain, we're gonna keep working. I don't know how well we're gonna show it, but we're basically pulling in sheets of plywood and screwing them to the floor as an underlayment for our laminate and tile. That's to thicken up the floor and make it stronger and also so that the laminate and the tile all kind of match at the same height. for like exterior How many more are we bringing in? Probably one. So here we are, relaxing as a family at night on our plywood floor that we need to screw down. And that's what we're gonna be working on now. Luckily, Ashley was a genius and she found light. So what she did was she found a lamp that we had in the house. If you look at our tour video, when we first moved in, there was a big uh, arm lamp, like next, to the, lamp. next to the sofa. We still have it and that's what that is. Right there, in the kitchen, plugged in, shining into the room. So now, we can actually work and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So right now, it's just gonna be screwing this floor down. We have it kind of roughly laid out where we want it. It's still raining out, you probably can hear it. And our plywood is covered with a tarp, hopefully staying dry. So, you wanna get working? Yep. All right, so we're back at it again today, finishing up the floor that we couldn't do last night. The rain just got to be too much. The plywood was getting wet, some of it's still wet, and it was dark and rainy, so we just gave up. We only got a little bit more to do right now. Uh, the arch is in the way. I thought it was gonna have to go, but we decided we're just gonna cut off the bottom of the arch so that we can get the plywood underneath it. I feel like we're not ready to commit to taking the arch completely out because we still don't have windows and that means that we'd have all kinds of bugs and everything coming straight into our house. So for now, let's keep this closed up.
right guys, we made some more big progress in the room and I think we're done for today. There's not too much more to do besides wait for our windows and door. We were looking at the paperwork today and we were shocked to see because they told us two weeks, maybe three, but on the paperwork it says estimated arrival September 4th. Yeah, we never noticed that before on the paper. Yeah, so I don't know if I should trust the people at the store that said two or three weeks or the September 4th. That's going to be a whole nother week away. Which is a month from when we ordered them. Yeah. So it's dragging out and um, we probably should have put plastic or something up over these windows, but it's fine. We do have the house wrap and everything we need to get this house sealed up, but we're waiting until the windows come. We really don't want to leave that stuff on the wall any longer than necessary and it's probably going to sit house wrapped all winter. It has a six month life. Uh, they say don't leave it exposed for more than six months. We're going to try to push it past that because I, there's just no way for us to do the siding this year. I mean, I said that about a lot of things and we got it done, so you never know. Yeah. But we're just going to hope it can hold up. So the room is clean. We can sit here on the floor. We got the new plywood yeah. down. The plywood, again, is just for strength and to build up the floor to a higher level. And to close up all the old holes and problems in the floor. So we're still waiting on some electrical boxes that we bought online. So we're waiting for those to come. A special box for outdoors, uh, for the outdoor outlet, and some recess boxes for the computer and the media wall. And once those come, then we can finally seal up all this insulation. One of the reasons we're waiting to put the vapor barrier up is because I still have to take out a little bit of insulation to put the outlet in. And we're actually thinking about taking out some insulation up here above me and actually preparing for the chimney, even though we probably won't have it for a while, I know where the blocking needs to go to support the, uh, the piece where the pipe goes through the wall. So we might prepare for that too. We're just gonna try to plan ahead and be as prepared as we can for everything that we wanna do in the future. We're on standstill again, but I'm sure we'll find projects to work on. Yeah. So once these two rooms are done, Maverick's room and the living room, we literally only have the kitchen and bathroom area uh, to go and it's actually not that much space but it's the most expensive and intense part of this whole renovation because there's so much involved with a lot of tiling work and fixtures, new shower, new um, sink. Cabinets. Yeah, it just everything is very expensive <laughs> yeah. and a lot of work. So, so far we've only done the easy rooms. We probably won't be doing that until spring. It's just the way it has to be. Yep. Especially since the back of the house has some rot under the door just like this one had. And we're- Because they have the same height deck where water splashes and it's just- Yeah, so I really don't think we're gonna have time to pull off all the siding and do all that on that side of the house too. So at least we have some projects to look forward to in the future. We'll be planning those and looking forward to those. We do have a wood stove picked out already. And again, I don't know if that's going to be this year. Probably not. Probably not. But we're planning for it. So that's the updates. That's where we're at on the whole project. It's coming along. I can't wait to pull this plastic down and get rid of this archway. I really thought it was going to be done, but... We just got to wait. I realized that if we took down the plastic, this room is pretty clean, but... We would have so many moths come in our house at night because I totally like wasn't thinking about the windows being just wide open. Yeah. So we're going to keep the plastic up. So that's all we have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care. Bye.